G'day. In today's video, I'm having a look at a PS5 power supply. This one was involved in a surge and since then has not powered on at all. This particular one, if we can read it here, is an ADP-A00FR. And with this, I've been able to get it open. I've had to undo one screw, two screw, and then I've pried around it and popped the case off like so. The first thing I've looked at on here is there seems to be a ceramic fuse, or I believe a ceramic fuse, right down here, right where the power connector is. So this cylinder shape, that's white. Also, uh, if you're dealing with power supplies, do be very cautious as they do hold a charge for quite some time after the power is disconnected, unless it's drained. Now in this particular instance, I'm just going to have a look at this one here. If I can find my multimeter. So if I stick my multimeter on resistance, and put it on here and here, for example, I am getting absolutely nothing, which hopefully means to me that this is a blown fuse. I'm not sure how we're gonna get this out, whether I can stretch these out and just put, pull it out, or if it's soldered into position. I'm not too sure at this point. But let's say I have a look at something like this wire just here, there and there. If the fuse is working perfectly fine, I would basically be getting a reading quite similar to my multimeter right now. Oh, right now. As we can see with this fuse here, I'm getting absolutely nothing. Another way to test it is when the power supply is closed up, power is plugged into here. Should be able to probe both these connections down here and have it on voltage. And hopefully all going well it would output 12 volt. Granted, I don't have the power plugged in, but that's just a small little tip to try before disassembling it. If you have power plugged in, multimeter set to voltage, positive, negative on these pins down here, and it is carrying back as essentially a weird voltage. It's not 12 volt. You may have an issue. Put that one up here. This one here is a slightly different version of power supply. It's an ADP 400DR. DR versus A compared to the FR that I'm working on. As you can see, we also have a fuse down the bottom here. And if I connect this up to it as well, one, two, oh, it might help us stick it on to resistance. That there is going perfectly fine. So I'm hoping that I can swap the fuse out of here from the DR and put it into the FR and hopefully I'll have a working power supply again. The house that the power, the PlayStation was at was currently, or had a surge, and then from there it took it out. It, the PlayStation refused to power or show any signs of power. I'm trying to move it. Nah, it doesn't look like they've made it a replaceable fuse. So hopefully, 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 they're very similar in size and I can make them fit and swap them over. I'll start with this one here, just because it is a dead power supply I've got floating around. And we go there and there. I can hopefully remove this one and swap it in. Now I've got my, uh, my... Here. Currently got my soldering iron set to 400 degrees Celsius. Hoping that will be enough. Let's try to push some fresh solder onto here. Go. This is going to be the, is not going to be the best method to remove it, but it will be a method to remove it. There we go, one side out. You can see there. Bingo. Where are my tweezers gone? Okay. There we 
go. One fuse out. Off to the side. I've completely stuffed up my camera and I didn't film the unsoldering and resoldering of the fuse. Sorry about that guys. Quite annoyed at myself. If you're used to basic soldering skills, you'll know what to do. Let's put that here to here. Huh. Good on voltage, that's why nothing's going there. Resistance. We're good. We have this one that I've just removed. We get open line. So from here, I'm hoping that the rest of the power supply is actually okay, but that fuse is blown. With that fuse blowing, hopefully it should have done its job and saved the rest of the power supply. Or at least that's what I'm hoping for anyway. Now I'll proceed to put this in. Now, which way do we go? There we go. Like that. Wrong cover here. Uh, bingo. Uh, yep, that's that one. And I'm hoping, with my theory going right here, I should be able to plug power into here and hopefully get 12 volts over here. Oh, we'll do that. Burger. Unleash the magic smoke. I can see why the fuse had blown. Let's see what's happened here. Where did the smoke come from? We're back to open line. Now, I can't tell where it's died, but I guess from here. You're replacing the power supply. Okay, oh yeah. I was hoping I was under a quick fix. Guess not. Looks like I'll be jumping on eBay and purchasing another one. If you're like me, maybe one way to potentially save a few dollars, or it just might end up exactly how this ended up. Hope you learned something from today, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.